Hello and welcome. This is a very raw vlog. As you may or may not know, I've been eating raw and this is my raw emotions coming out. I'm inspired to share when I'm like this because I, I think uh, we live in a world, especially on social media, where a lot of people do not want to be seen unless they're in a energy that they feel confident about. It's like, oh, I'm not in my power, so I can't host, I can't lead workshops. At least that's how I used to feel. So I want to make this video because Ooh, I'm, I'm not feeling well. I'm, I'm suffering. I'm feeling shit. And, and yeah, I guess it's, uh, this is just me leading by example to, I guess, just be raw and vulnerable. Um, I don't even know what day I am on the blog. Almost five months figure out the day later, but I, I just got a massive headache. Woke up in pain and misery and agony. And it's it's not fun. Let's just say that. Um, I let myself rest. I slept like 11 hours. Struggled to get out of bed, do my morning routine. I managed to meditate for a bit, but it's just like, Felt like I relaxed a little bit more, but the pain didn't move, did a little bit of yoga. It's like when I was stretching my legs, it felt a bit nice. And then as soon as I kind of took a few breaths and then I was like, oh, this is just fucking painful. Uh, so, so here I am. At least making this video gives me an avenue and a channel to share what's going on. Cause it's, it's like I got a whole circus in my head right now and it's just loud and obnoxious and painful and chaotic and jeez, jeez. Yeah, it's, it's crazy to sense how, how the physical pain carries so much emotional heaviness with it. You know, like if I listen closely to the pain, it's it's just filled with disempowerment. I can't do this. I'm alone. I feel abandoned. I'm not connected. There's no such thing as a higher power. I feel lost. I don't trust myself. I don't trust in the universe. I don't trust in life. I hate myself. I hate everyone. It's just like this dense ball of, of pain. And it's interesting to go through such a process on on this raw food, not even a diet, in this on this new lifestyle, in this new lifestyle, because there is a part of me that's like, oh, let me just get some pancakes, something super sweet to it's not even a numbing, it's more like a little bit of sugar distracts me from the pain just for a little bit. Just the same way if you were to like squeeze my nipple super duper hard, you know, I only have so many pain receptors, so then you feel that and then, okay, it's like a little bit of relief from the headache, but as soon as it's gone, it's, it's right back there, so. In a way, it's a distraction. Um, but then I'm just, my stomach cannot handle pancakes or pizza or whatever heavy foods I crave. It's almost like there's a part of me that wants to be in control. And if I eat something that's really dense and heavy and greasy or whatnot, then that would make me feel heavy and bad, which is how I already feel. But then at least I, I'm in control. I'm like, all right, I'm gonna go drink a few beers and eat a burger and a pretzel and have some 
butter and and then if I feel shitty, at least there's this, okay, well, I know what happened, I did it. The thing about energetic processing or whatever's going on in my head right now has been going on for the past four and a half years now, every single day, but not typically this bad, is there isn't a, a story <laughs> that is so clear that I can just say, oh, I, this happened, this happened, this happened. It really forces me to just ah, breathe and, and surrender and know that what I'm experiencing is not up to my mind to figure out. It's it's really up to, I don't know, what is it up to? I think it's up to my soul to understand so I can let the mind stop trying to figure it out and, and just let things flow. It, it feels more like, and I apologize for the camera view, by the way. Unfortunately, I haven't been crying yet, but just in case. <laughs> I want to cry. It feels like there's... 20 suppressed episodes of crying in my head right now. And honestly, <laughs> it probably is. Probably some ancestral suppression that somehow got in my head. Um, I don't even remember what I was talking about. It's just, it's painful, it's sad. Uh, I gotta surrender. So, this begs the question, what to eat <laughs> when something like this happens? And in my experience, it's best to, if I'm gonna pig out, just pig out on one food. <laughs> just eat like as much mango as possible. But having a stomach ache and a headache isn't, uh, isn't very much fun. Um, <sighs> so I don't even know what to say and I think that's beautiful why should I feel like I need to have something to say to be validated or to be important you know I have no idea maybe this only gets two views maybe it gets more maybe it gets 20,000 I don't know but Humility, I guess. That's what I feel right now. Very humbled. Um, very humbled. It's like I thought I was gonna do some work today, taxes, maybe go out and get to the market. Nope. Nope. Right, Mr. Headache? The thing is, too, I, I'm being really nice to myself. Like, I keep breathe in and it's okay and I love you and I'm here for you and this won't last forever and it's like <sighs> it's, it's this pain ridden child that just I know he feels the love he feels like I'm giving him attention but you know perhaps there's there's more to the story perhaps there's more to the story and and I even took some some THC but it's like It's like my body's in a trauma. So often when this has happened in the past, I take pills, I take medicine, mostly cannabis, CBD or THC, sometimes Kratom or even paracetamol. But sometimes I don't, I don't feel it. So then 30 minutes, hour later, I'm like, all right, I'll take more. And this happens like three, four times. I still don't feel it. And all of a sudden, four or five hours later, I feel everything. And I'm just like super high. So I'm waiting for that to happen. <laughs> Maybe I'll make a, another video. If I get super stoned from, from the THC. Um, but yeah, to me, it's like clearly the body's, you know, in a shutdown, it's, it's restoring. It, it wants to conserve and, and reserve for, for whatever reason. And and I trust my body, I trust your body. This is another wound that I'm personally healing. I didn't trust my body for so long. 
I didn't even know it was a thing to trust my body. I just thought my body let me do things, play basketball, travel, have fun, sing, dance, make love, whatever. So that's another thing that it's, it's almost like the headache is a signal. It's like a, it's like the Riddler <laughs> coming and saying, do you trust your body? I do. <laughs> it's like one of those riddlers that is very persistent. It would be nice if I just said, yeah, I trust you. Boom, it's gone. But <sighs> I'm feeling like this pain is is 20 some years of not trusting my body. And, and that's another avenue I've been privileged to explore is, is the patience and the perspective that just because I realize and change doesn't mean it shifts in a second or shifts overnight. If you, if I look at my life, I've trusted my body for maybe <laughs> four years, three years, two years, I don't even know, two years, one. If I'm really honest, how much did I 100% trust my body? Ooh, that's scary to admit. 100%, I mean, perhaps that's an extreme, but what I'm trying to say is I have not trusted my body way longer than I have. So, and it's much easier to trust my body when it feels good, right? So maybe you could say I, I trusted my body in the past when I didn't really think about it, but I'm not sure. Well, my body has to say about that, so. So yeah, what else? Uh, I don't like the word depression. As my teacher once said, <laughs> you wake up in the morning and then you start to think, uh, I'm depressed. Well, that's a depressing thought right there. <laughs> so to me, I'm just, I'm just laying low. Literally, I'm low right now. Uh, but it's nice, as you can tell. The energy flows more when, when I start to share and talk about it. It's like, I'm just picturing it's like a clump of yarn and it's just like getting, or maybe string, right? Yeah, that's it's like a ball of string. And then if there's so many different layers, it feels so dense and it feels so heavy and strong and powerful. But as soon as I start to talk, it's like I just pull one string and I'm just like, all right. This is just just these little threads. It's just these threads of, of energy. So if I look at it like that, it's just energy in my head. It's just stuck. We're all just energy. Uh, all right, how can I move this energy? I guess it already is moving. That's another thing. Physically, I, I have energy, as you can see. But if I go on a run, if I jump on my mini trampoline or the rebounder, shaking, even a little bit of yoga, it can aggravate the pain even more. So it's, it's a delicate dance, that is for sure. That is for sure. So anything else I want to share? Mr. Headache, how do you feel? Mrs. Headache, how do you feel? Uh, All right, thank you for watching. This is, whew, this is raw as it's gonna get, ladies and gentlemen. Hope you find some value in this, and if there's ever a time I'm reaching out for support, this is it, please. What would I like to receive for support? That's a good question. Hmm. I would love some, some healing vibrations energetic healing send me love send some good vibes and actually i will practice that right now because that's one thing i was actually talking to some of my brothers yesterday about me consciousness and if i'm just in this story oh my life sucks my head hurts this sucks i'm in so much pain i want to do this it's 
it's coming from a place of separation, it's isolation. And that's why the meta practice can be so beautiful. So I'll do this right now. I pray that all the people suffering from headaches in the world right now can feel a little bit more peace, a little bit more relief. And may all those who are suffering from physical chronic pain find the courage and the strength to go inside and get to know themselves better so they can love themselves more deeply than ever before. Mm. Oh, so I like that practice because it gets me out of, oh, me, why me, why me? And it's like, brings me back to the whole, which is what I believe life is all about, coming out of what we think we are and connecting with the, the greater whole. So, so that being said, thank you for watching. Um, by the time you're watching this, I hope I'm flying and, and feeling the after benefits of, of releasing all this old programming and feeling more connected than ever before. But either way, I would love some, some happy thoughts, some good energy, some healing, Reiki, white light, whatever you feel called, maybe just a smile or sing a song for yourself and think of me, send me that light, that glowing energy that we're all connected to in some way, shape or form. And um, feeling a bit scared to end this, to be honest, because at least I have something to do. After this, it's just like, oh, okay. Headache. Uh, all right, I love you. Thank you for watching. I love me. Jeremy, thank you for sharing. Headache, I love you. Without you, there is no way I would ever create a video <laughs> of such content. So thank you so much for watching and for listening. <laughs>